Lord be with you. We celebrate today uh, Ascension Day, while technically today is the seventh Sunday of Easter, 40 days after Jesus rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven. That would have been last Thursday, and since we could not gather here in church, today we are celebrating the ascension of our Lord. The day that we uh, confess each time in the, in the Apostles and Nicene Creed, and he ascended into heaven. Now we celebrate that, that festival day, that triumph where Jesus uh, ascended back into heaven and promised to send us, the Helper, the Holy Spirit. And so a number of our hymns are focused on that theme that Jesus ascended into heaven. Today is also Memorial Day weekend, and we want to highlight and, and uh, praise God for all those who have sacrificed uh, for us, whether they have served or are serving, and so on this Memorial Day weekend, we also recognize all of those who have given so much, and later on in the service, we will sing a hymn to remember the blessings that God give us on this Memorial Day. And so with that, why don't we begin our service? We sing our opening hymn, Alleluia, Alleluia, Hearts to Heaven. begin our service today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness. Therefore, you are feared. Since we are gathered to hear God's word, to call upon him in prayer and praise, and be united together as one body, even if so far apart, let us first consider our unworthiness and confess before God and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and that we cannot free ourselves from our sinful condition. Together as his people, let us take refuge in the infinite mercy of God, our Heavenly Father, seeking his grace for the sake of Christ, and saying, God, be merciful to me, 
a sinner. Together we confess, Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty and ascended God, in His mercy has given His Son to die for you, that He might forgive you all of your sins. Therefore, as a called and ordained servant of Christ, and by His authority, I forgive you all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We turn to our psalm for today, which is psalm number 46. And I'll read a verse, and then you can read a verse, and we'll go back and forth as we hear our psalm for today, a psalm that many of us know, have heard before, a good one to put to heart uh, as we hear Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We say the Kyrie together. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We sing our hymn of praise. This is the feast.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, as your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, ascended into the heavens, so may we also ascend in heart and mind and continually dwell there with him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We hear our readings for today as we open up the word of the Lord. We hear a lot about the ascension as we hear that in our first reading and also in our gospel. And so let us hear the readings of the day. The first reading for the ascension of our Lord is from Acts chapter 1. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up. After he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, to them he presented himself alive after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus who is taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hi guys, it's Will, and today I will be reading the epistle lesson, which is from chapters 15 to 23. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord and in your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give. I do not cease to give you thanks, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of Him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know that, or what is the hope to which He He has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints? And what is his immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the workings of his great might? Then he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hands in the heavenly, heavenly place, far above all rule and authority and power and domi dominion and over every name that is uh, named not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all th uh, things under his feet and gave and gave him as he as head over all things to the church, which is the body, the fulfillness or fullness of him who fills all in all. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We thank Karen and Will for reading the readings for today. Uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, and at this time, why don't we rise and prepare ourselves to hear the gospel as it is recorded for us in the book of Luke, the 24th chapter. We hear the word of God. Then Jesus said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me 
in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple blessing God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We confess our faith this morning by using the words of the Nicene Creed. And make note that in this creed, we confess that we believe that Jesus truly did ascend into heaven. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of His Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. At this time, we invite all the children of all ages to come closer to the screen, to the TV screen, for a children's message. Good morning, boys and girls. Come on up and join us for a children's message today. I brought us outside, and I'm going to tell you why in a few minutes, why we are outside for our children's message. Today is called Ascension Day. Can you guys say the word ascension? Good. So you may uh, never have used the word ascension before. You may have heard it when we confess the creed on Sunday. But what does the word ascension mean? What does it mean that Jesus ascended into heaven? Well, I want to illustrate that by playing with some bubbles. We love playing with bubbles. It's a wonderful spring and summer activity. And what do bubbles do? When you blow them from your wand, what happens to bubbles? Well, normally, on a nice windy day, they blow, they blow up in the air. Oh, I missed that one. There, they, they blow around, and, and if you get a really good bubble, they, they float up really high, and they go all up in the air as the wind takes them up, and bubbles can be a lot of fun. Bubbles are a great way to illustrate Ascension Day, 
as the bubbles float up in the air and eventually they pop or we don't see them anymore, so too on the day that Jesus brought his disciples out to the hill, kind of like where we are now on this grassy area, Jesus blessed his disciples and gave them some promises and then he started to ascend into the sky or or almost like float up like a, a bubble up into the air. And as Jesus ascended into the sky, his disciples were all looking up and watching as far as they could see him. And they were just staring up in the sky. And then an angel appeared and said, why are you guys still staring up there? Don't you know he's going to come back the same way that he left? Go and worship. And that's what Ascension Day is all about. That after Jesus died and after Jesus rose, 40 days later, he went back to heaven. He went to God where he sits on the right hand of the Father. But boys and girls know that Jesus is still with us as well as he promised to be with us always to the very end of the age. No, we don't see him with our eyes anymore, but we do know that he is with us. And so on this Ascension Day, go outside and play with some bubbles. Play the Ascension game where you see the bubbles go up, just like the disciples watch Jesus go up and ascend into heaven. Let's pray the normal way that we pray. Let's fold our hands. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, thank you for ascending into heaven. Thank you for ascending into heaven. Thank you for being with us even if we can't see you. Thank you for being with us even if we can't see you. We can't wait for you to come back we can't wait for you to come back and take us to heaven and take us to heaven. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you for taking this field trip with me outside. Let's sing our next hymn.
Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God, our Father, from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Today, I'm going to share with you that you are a part of a business, a very specific business with a very specific job. Sure, you all have your own careers and jobs already. Some of you actually work in business. You may be a manager or an owner or an employee. Some of you run a business at home. Some of your business is the home as you raise children and stay home with them, which, yes, is just as much, if not more, work than a career outside the home. And, of course, we've seen those two worlds collide lately, haven't we? Where many people are working from home and running their home from home. And that's presented its own kind of joys and challenges. Some of you are retired from your work business. But you can certainly remember the grind of working each day to support your family. But today, I want to illustrate for you that you are all in a different business, but all together in business, a delivery business. You are all delivery drivers. What do I mean? Well, you'll have to wait for that explanation for just a few minutes. Today is Ascension Day. Well, technically, it's not Ascension Day. Technically, it's Thursday. But today, we celebrate, we recognize Ascension Day, as we were not able to have a service a couple of days ago. Today, we observe the day that Jesus who lived among us for 40 days after Easter, ascended into heaven. During the 40 days that Jesus was alive, and I mean really alive, on earth, Jesus showed himself to many, many people. He proved that he was the same person who was before he died on the cross, before he was laid in the tomb. He is not a ghost. He's not a figment of your imagination. He's not a dream. He's a real man, alive, just as alive as he was before. Our first reading from Acts says, to them he presented himself alive after his suffering by many proofs appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. Now that these 40 days had passed and his work was complete, he was ready to ascend back into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. And while he was in heaven, he promised us to be with us till the very end of the age, to send a helper, namely the Holy Spirit, and that Jesus will prepare for our return to heaven, and he will come back the same way that he left us. Jesus' ascension is a big deal. In fact, we could even say Ascension Day is just as big as Christmas and Easter. This wasn't the end of Jesus' work. It was the next step in the grand plan of God. The next step in the grand plan of God. That as he left, he would bring to us a helper, the Holy Spirit. That he would empower the church to proclaim the gospel. The next step in God's great plan is outlined in the gospel reading that we read a few minutes ago. Follow with me. Read along even if you'd like. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, 
Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that repentance and forgiveness of sin should be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. Jesus' next plan in my illustration today was to start a business, so to speak. A delivery business. Jesus needs to deliver the saving gospel message to all nations. The church is a delivery business. We're in business to deliver the goods. Not goods in the sense of products and items on shelves, but as my seminary professor once said, we deliver the goods. As in all good things that are needed to be a gift to us by God. The forgiveness of sins is the goods. Baptism is the goods. The Lord's Supper is the goods. The Word of God is the goods. We have the goods. And we are a delivery business needing to deliver the goods to all nations. So I can see us like a delivery business. We are that and not a manufacturing business. The church is in the delivery business, but we can't be in the manufacturing business. We don't make here salvation. We cannot make another person believe in God. We cannot create in our warehouse faith or force someone or persuade someone to believe. We are here to deliver what Jesus bought and what Jesus paid for, what Jesus manufactured to be given freely to the world. Jesus is the one who was in the manufacturing business and still is today as he produces faith in us. His work on the cross, his triumphal entry on Easter, earned us, produced us, or manufactured for us, faith. That the church now, in this part of the plan, delivers to all nations. So, the church is a delivery business. And all of you, every one of you sitting out there today, you are all in a very unique situation and position. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, you are a customer of this delivery business. Today, you were all delivered the good. The church has come to you with the Holy Spirit delivering to you what Jesus has manufactured. The church has come to you and you have received its delivery. The word of God was spoken and delivered. The absolution was announced and delivered. Your baptism was remembered as it was delivered to you at the font. The promises of God are packaged, signed, sealed, and delivered. And you all are the recipients of that delivery. But I said that you were in a very unique position. Because you also are on the delivery team. Not as a pastor in the public proclamation of the gospel, like I am in the church, but you are witnesses in your own lives. Hear another verse from our gospel. Maybe read this one with me too. You are witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city 
until you are clothed with power from on high. Jesus in the text does not say you are observers or you are the one sitting on the sidelines letting God do all the work. He says you are witnesses. You are a witness of what God has done through Christ Jesus. We, of course, were not there when Jesus died on the cross. We did not witness and touch with our own hands the nail marks. That was done to the apostles and disciples. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, we have firsthand knowledge of who Jesus is and what it means to be forgiven. We are witnesses through the power of the Spirit. And we know our calling as Christians is to share, or today to deliver, the eternal joys of Christ to the kingdom, to all nations. For He will come back to take us to be with Him one day. So until He comes... One of our callings in life is to be a witness. To share the gospel through which the disciples are made to the ends of the earth and until the end of time. What a privilege that is. To first receive and then to be the deliverers of this very special package. We deliver it to our children, we deliver it to our grandchildren, we deliver it to our spouse, to our parents, to our siblings, to our family, to our friends, to all nations. We have such a community around us that it's not hard to find people to deliver what first has been delivered to us. As Jesus ascended into heaven, our gospel shares this detail. While Jesus blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And the disciples worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple blessing God. Let us too. Respond to God's good gifts and blessings by worshiping with joy and continually being in the presence of God. In Jesus' name, amen. And now may that peace which passes all understanding keep our hearts and our minds on the one who ascended into heaven and has promised to come back the same way one day to bring us with him to paradise, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We sing our next hymn together as we sing, Spread the Reign of God the Lord. A great hymn to remind us how we are to be deliverers of this message.
this point in the service, we would be collecting our offering, and we can do that right now still, as it is a response to God for what he has given to us, that we, the ones who are to be deliverers of the good news, uh, we can do that through providing gifts and tithes to allow that gospel to be spread to all nations. And so you can do that in a variety of ways. Our website has a donate button that you can click on and make a secure donation via PayPal. You can also mail your tithe into the church. I collect the mail on a daily basis. Or stop by and leave it in the mailbox. Or if I'm here, stop in and say hello at a social distance uh, appropriate place. Uh, but whatever way you do it, respond to God and his good gifts by delivering uh, a tithe to us that we can use it to further the kingdom of God. And also at this time, we would be praying uh, and, and pray in the prayers of the church. So at this time, you can uh, chat in the chat box and put any prayer requests that you would like for us to pray later on uh, in there. And I will write down those prayers. And after our recorded service, we'll go back live and we will pray those together as a church. And so now let us conclude our service. We are going to go to the Lord's Prayer and we welcome in the Friedman and Rotella family to pray with us the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. Hi. Friedman's and Rotella's here. Hi, Rotella's here. <laughs> we hope everybody's staying safe and distancing themselves. And thank you guys for all the prayers and all the good thoughts from me and my colleagues. We really appreciate it. Let us say the Lord's Prayer. Yes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you to uh, Kathy and Rachel and the kiddos for leading us in the Lord's Prayer. It was great to see you guys today. Let us conclude with the, with the blessing, the blessing that the Lord provides for us each and every divine service. Let us bless the Lord. Together we say, thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. Lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. We sing our final hymn and we recognize on this Memorial Day weekend the blessings that God gives to us uh, through all those who serve in the many different military branches. I do miss today as we would normally recognize them uh, but if you know of any around, make sure you call them today, text them, write them a letter, and thank them for what they have done to serve our country. We sing our final hymn, God Bless Our Native Land. Thank you for coming to worship once again, for being given the great gifts of God in worship that 
we delivered to you the goods. A uh, couple announcements for you. Our mission of the month, though you can continue to bring food in for Pastor Fenko, our mission of the month this month is going to be our blood drive. Uh, there is a, a link on our website that advertises our blood drive, an opportunity to give back to somebody who's in need by donating. Uh, there's a long list of items that you need to know to know how we are protecting this place. And the people who are coming in are taking very, uh, care, very great care of us as we come to donate. And so it is secure, it is safe, it is a place that we can be. So if you want to know more information, check out our website. We are accepting people who sign up beforehand only. You cannot walk in. Uh, so if you want to know more information, you can talk to Roseanne McKinney or check out our website as this will be our mission of the month. Uh, and our streaming schedule continues Monday, Tuesday, uh, and Thursday, Friday. We have our, our encouragement, our daily encouragement. Wednesday, we have our Bible study, and I'll be sharing more information about that Bible study in our live stream. So stay tuned for an update on our Bible study. So at this time, let us go back to our live stream where I will be able to pray with you, share a blessing with you, and then have some time for announcements and fellowship. May God bless you as he delivers the goods on a daily basis. In Jesus' name, amen.